Chapter 15 More we have to tell you of is those who tell your fortune and who pretend to talk to those who have died. Some are able to give you information, but we tell you now much of what you hear is not correct in this matter. Most of the ones who say they do this are not doing as they believe themselves to be. They are being deceived and are deceiving you. It's not right these things happen, and it is certainly not right it happens on the scale it does through your world. The ones responsible for doing this and teaching about it will be severely reprimanded when their time comes to join us here. They are misleading people, and yet they say it is to bring peace to others. For some their intent is good, but we tell you now the way they do this is wrong and it should be stopped. So many think what they do benefits others, but it has just led the whole world into a false sense of security. Those who come to us of your world are safe and well. Each and every one of them is where they need to be at the time right for them. Some are to be punished more severely than others for their deeds in this life. For some, their punishments will be much less. But one thing you must all know is, you will all have to answer for whatever you have done wrong, my friends. Those who pretend they speak with the dead are not doing so at all. They are allowed information to give you at some times, as and when we decide that comfort is needed. It is not often we do this. And yes... We use people such as the one who writes this for us, but we do not use all the people who claim to be able to do it. Man cannot learn to do it. He protests he can, and we tell you now he is wrong and he lies to you. It is not their fault, as they have been told this themselves, but it is only very rarely we allow news to be given to those who truly grieve. It is done only in exceptional circumstances, as most will have to go through the grieving process on their own. It is one of those things of life, and if you are to receive comfort from your loved ones who have passed, they will be allowed to come to you naturally. For others, they will come only to those we choose and none other. Why do so many deceive themselves this way? Why does the whole of your world feel they need to speak to those who have passed before them? Leave the dead to look after themselves. Leave them to us to do with as is destined for them. Why do you all concern yourselves so much with those who are with us instead of the ones still with you? Look after those you still have with you and let them look after you. We will look after those who have left your earthly life, and if you all truly did believe in God and life ever after, you would not need these people who deceive you. There is such a morbid interest in death, dying, and those who have already gone. Why, we ask? What is it, and who is it that caused this obsession to happen? Why can they say religion and God is wrong, and yet they pretend they are right? How can they claim to do things that are for God only to do? We are of the spirit world and we are his right hand workers who are sent to do all we can to help and guide each of you through those he has cho chosen for us to work with. Yet even we cannot do the things men of your world claim to be able to do. Why is it so many elevate themselves in this way? They claim no knowledge of God, and yet they claim his works and deeds for themselves. This is punishable in the extreme for those who do this. They will not listen and refuse to accept the truth as they elevate themselves to a position only God alone has. What saddens us more is that so many of you listen to them and believe they are the ones who are able to give you these things. No man of your world can give you a gift not bestowed upon you. They say all can do these things. We tell you now they cannot. To each their own gifts are given, and even if they have not been given to you, it is impossible 
for you to have them by any other means. Why then do so many believe this is not correct? How do so many who claim to believe in God believe themselves capable of bestowing his gifts on their fellow men? We are aware many who use God's name to entice others have no belief or understanding of him at all. And these are the ones who are totally lost in this life and who will have no have to return many times indeed. For their ignorance and lack of awareness shows them to be on the very early life paths and journeys. They have so far to go. But you, you who profess to know God and yet still teach the same as these others, you are the ones who most sadden us. It is not said that for those who do, it is, sorry, is it not said that for those who do not know our Heavenly Father, their sins are not as great as those who do profess to know him? Think about what it is you do. If you are meant to do these things, you will be allowed to do it when the time is right and not at a time of your choosing, nor will it be in a lifetime of your choosing. We have already spoken of this in here before in another way to you, but so many are being led astray by others and we must have it stopped. It must not be allowed to continue as it is now. The whole world has been turned upside down due to this and what it is that they're bringing into your world in the guise of being good. It is a false sense of security they bring, as what they profess to be doing is not real and is only sent to appease from the deceivers of our world. They wish to entice you to the side of darkness, as darkness does exist, even though many refuse to acknowledge it does. There are varying levels of darkness, and this is something we need to explain to you also. For now, we know many will ask why we repeat some of the things we tell you in here, and it's because we know much of your learning done of the hands of mankind needs to be unlearned if you're going to progress. Some reading this will pass by some of what holds no interest for them, as it's not wish what they wish to hear. We are aware of this, and so we repeat parts that are of the greatest need for you to see later on. This is in the hope you will listen to some of what we have to say. We know some of you are to be saved and delight in the fact our words today will help you see your way clear for the future. It lifts us more than you can know to see we have been able to reach even one of you and help you to see the truth and help you in the only ways open to us to do so. If only we could tell you more, dear friends, but we are not allowed or able as that's not our place to do. But if you only knew what's to await you at the end of all your journeys and paths, you would rush here to be here as quickly as you could. You would listen to our words and work hard to learn the lessons needed to enable you to come to us. Harsh though it may seem, this cannot be rushed though, as there is much for you all to learn. So many lessons, so many hardships and bad things are needed for you to suffer and go through in order for you to grow and be able to understand more. It saddens us to see you suffer so and we wish we could help you through it. We do all we can and believe us in that as we try to soften things for you as much as we are able. Your loved ones too have, who have passed to our world are at times allowed to come to you for comfort. Some of you will sense them and others won't. And it is then we allow some of your world to help give you that comfort by letting, letting you know they are with you.